You're looking at a road in southern Afghanistan. This road connects two major U.S. military bases, and every week troops send supplies on hundreds of trucks down the road. So naturally, this makes the road a target for Taliban insurgents. And it came to the point where by 2006 or 2007, traveling down this road was something akin to a death sentence. So the U.S. outsourced the job of protecting this road to certain Afghan political figures who lived in the area, who would then provide armed protection for each of the trucks. And we were paying thousands of dollars per truck. The men that we hired had their own private army of hundreds or if not thousands of soldiers. They were armed to the teeth and they largely operated outside the remit of the Afghan government. So in effect, what we had done is create a new class of warlords around this road. And this is actually an example of the dangerous legacy that we're leaving behind. In 2014, the troops are leaving and the bases at both ends of this road is going to be closed down. But the warlords will still be there. 